What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be entering a request from one of our viewers. Well now we can, um, at a certain time, uh, we can end our game and basically go back to our main menu or even restart the map. So uh, what I'm going to do in today is just I'm going to, you know, just when we reach a certain number of kills, we are just going to go into an end game map where then we can like choose, let's say, you know, join another server or whatever. You'll basically, instead of creating an end map, you're going to have like a main menu map that you just reopen. So if you want to create another map for, you know, just testing this, you can go into file, new level, and then when you have the map open, you're going to save current, and it's going to appear like for you to select a place to, you know, save the map. So just save it in whatever folder you want. You're going to need this name, so, you know, leave it open. And you're going to also need to create something, actually you don't. Um, uh, this uh, I was testing around, so yeah, we, you're not gonna need a game instance for this. Um, so you can go into your third-person character. You're gonna need to create two custom events. Create one on the server. Uh, so right-click custom event. Uh, when you can call it server check for end game and run on server. Uh, you need to execute this on the server. Create a new input and make it on my player state. So where do you gonna call this? Uh, it's gonna be on the event tick. So just right click. Oh, sorry. Right click. Search for your event tick, and just go over here and call that. So I just have that here. Server check for in game, and for you to get the input, just right click, get your player state, and then drag cast to my player state. You can right click and convert to pure cast, and it it's you just need to connect this, like that. So remember, connect this to your event tick. Um, now, from your player set, you just get your kills. And this is basically your terms for when do you want to end the game. I just place the, so when one of the players reach three kills, I'm going to end the game. Of course, you can make this when the player got 10 deaths or like whatever. You can get, you know, that value from here and substitute this. I'm just going to make this for three kills. From here, I drag a branch. And if this is true, meaning we have set our conditions to true, that we want to end the game. So I'm just going to get all actors of class. Going to get all the third person characters or your your player character name. Basically, it's this one. And for e I'm going to um, get a for each loop, connect these up. And I'm going to need to create another uh, event. So right click, create another custom event. I'm going to call this, um, oh, I made a mistake. So I'm just going to make it gonna call this client travel <coughs> so uh, I got something to talk to you about so just drag from there and call your destroy session now this destroy session will only work if you have actually used the default online system that Unreal offers for example if you like connect directly to the IP uh, this section this node will always return on failure and because I'm only testing, um, you know, the game itself, uh, I'm not actually have like a main menu. I do not create any server. I do not use the online subsystem. So this node is always going to return false. But it will work anyway if you have or not. So just drag from over here and drag from on and on failure. Right click, open level. And just put that level that you created. Get its name over here. You can leave this as default. And... You go back to your for each loop, drag from the array element, call that client travel function. And um, yeah, you're going to need to just drag from your player controller into the event to create a new pin node. And over here, you just get the controller from the array element, cast to the player controller, convert to pure cast, and connect that in. And now to show you that this works, so I'm going to play. We have our uh, connected with our scoreboard functioning and everything. So now I'm just going to meet my uh, quota. I'm going to kill three players. Now you can see that uh, I have been traveled to another map. And this is what you would call your main menu. So, you know, you'd open your menu again. And you can see that all the clients have called this function as well. And we are now in s not in the same server. We are in separate servers, as you can see, on our own map. And now we could just rejoin another game or host another one, whatever you like. So we've got an error. That's because we are executing the thing, um, the branch on event tick. 
and there's a couple of you know times that uh, it's in the the transition to the new like transitioning to a new level and like the 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 player state will cease to exist and this will be calling a null uh, thing but you don't worry about those errors if you want to fix that you just can drag from over here is valid and we'll only execute this if the player state is valid and now those errors will disappear so this would be this I did this for a request of a viewer uh, he, he was having trouble getting this to work I tried to explain them by words but it's very difficult and um, you know I made some mistakes while explaining as well replication is a little bit difficult I actually you notice that I already have done this because I tried another way that didn't work because I was uh, you know, already considering that I was using the, um, the online subsystem I have created a, a new session what I haven't uh, I haven't because I just click on play and I'm using the you know the local simulation of Unreal which doesn't support this kind of nodes that's why I connect both on success and on failure but uh, whatever way you do that if you do it like this it will work anyway if you have any trouble on your end you can leave them in the comments or you know any ideas for the series can leave them there as well uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye